Just the link for people? Yeah. Grazie. All right. Well, for you guys that are watching right now, um, first off, thanks for tuning in. This, as I said, already is going to be my first ever, um, I guess, uh, live event. And we're going to be doing a tutorial build today of the cod piece from Halo 5. So, uh, or actually, I guess more uh, Halo, 4, uh, Halo 4, to be exact. And we're going to be building this bad boy right here. So, uh, first thing I want to tell you is sizing is going to be your biggest, um, I guess your biggest thing that you're going to want to worry about when you're actually starting to do your very first build. Um, somebody asked me the other day if I had any sizing tips on them. I'm actually going to pull up the question real quick so I can do a proper shout out for them. Um, they asked me if I could do a sizing video. Um, while I'd love to be able to do a sizing video, the thing with doing sizing for EVA foam armor and Pepecore armor is it varies from person to person. There's no like one set uh, formula that I could tell you that'll actually be right on 100% of every time. So best case that I can tell you to do is print off a piece that's got like a relative size, like something that's small, like um, a knee or an elbow. So this would be um, an elbow piece for the forearm. And print it off just on regular paper first. Once you printed it off, if you want, just tape the little piece together that would create this elbow here, and then hold it up to yourself and see if it actually fits your elbow. If it's way too big, like this one here is a little bit too big for me. So I know right off that this size is not going to work. Now, I could have done that before I actually started putting this piece together, just with the paper, but I didn't, and as a result, I burned through some EVA foam. So, lesson learned there. Um, you can see the difference in size versus this one. This is the one I just made yesterday. This is the one I made a couple days ago. So, that's about the best I can tell you for sizing. If it comes down to doing a forearm or a leg piece, hold up the longest piece of it to your forearm or your shin. If you have to tape pieces together, do that so you can get your relative size. Because otherwise, you're going to have to just try one size, hope it works. If it's too big, shrink it up. If it's too small, make it bigger. Um, so anyway, let's see. Uh, okay, first ever uh, shout out. This goes out to Destroyer Plays Minecraft. And the question he asked me was, what foam thickness do I use? And um, let's see, can you replace Bondo with wall putty and resin with wood glue or PVA glue? Um, answer to the first one is, I use about 3 8 inch thick EVA foam, but I use a, a, a mix of different foams. I use everything from an eighth inch sheet here for uh, surface detail. I use little foamy sheets that you can buy from Walmart in the craft section or doing details like right here on this cod piece, just slightly raised areas. Um, but yeah, the main one that I'll use would be either a centimeter or three-eighths of an inch thick. Uh, you can get half, but I wouldn't recommend doing half because it's a whole lot harder to work with. Um, and yes, you can uh, replace Bondo with wall putty. Um, Bondo's going to be a whole lot thicker and a whole lot stronger to work with. Um, and as for replacing resin with wood glue, if you're working with EVA foam, get PVA glue because you can brush it on really super easy, sand it to a nice smooth surface, and you can just layer that up and layer it up, that up till it becomes like a super hard shell. Um, and let's see. This one goes out to Real Gamer. He asked if I could give a list of stuff needed for an armor build. Uh, first off, you'll need to get yourself at least two packs of EVA foam, like I've got right here. And they come, see this one was eight sheets to a pack. Sometimes they come six sheets to a pack. You just got to check out on eBay, on, uh, eBay and um, it'll tell you right there. Um, you'll also need hot glue. Make sure you are well stocked in hot glue before doing your inner seam reinforcement. Um, and I would go with a low heat gun, just because if you're running a high heat, hot glue gun, it's going to stay really goopy way too long and you want it to dry quickly. Um, super glue, right here, professional Loctite liquid, work with this. This is a great, um, this is what I use for almost all my EVA foam builds, five second. Uh, let's see, uh, you'll need nylon straps and buckles eventually, 
so that you can uh, fit your suit to you and keep it from falling apart. Um, you'll want to get a motorcycle visor if you're doing a uh, halo build because you're going to want to be able to cut that visor to shape when you're setting it inside the face of your helmet. And then eventually if you want, get some LEDs because you can light your suit up in a bunch of really cool ways with that. Without further ado, let us dive on in to our codpiece build. Alright, so for any of you that have seen any of the previous videos that I've done already for the codpiece build, you'll know that... I do several different cutting techniques. Um, this one here is what I call a corner cut. And you can see on this that it's got an angle back on here as opposed to being um, flat like that piece here. The reason I cut at that angle there is so that I can merge seams together right up to the, like, I mean, what's the word I'm trying to say? I can merge, merge pieces together seamlessly. Um, really super helpful if you're going to be doing a piece that has a lot of folded around parts like this one does, and you want it to have an overall curve uh, shape to it, you're going to want to do these corner cuts. So I have gone ahead and done it on the bulk of the pieces here. There will be a couple that I will be cutting, um, I believe, so I'll be showing you that. All right. First off, starting with our center here, I am going to go ahead and hit it with some heat. I guess I should mention this. You'll also need a heat gun for forming your EVA foam. And don't curve it too much because you don't want it to go crazy on you. Just give it a nice little curve. About like, about like this here. And you can bend your EVA foam a little bit further than you think you're going to need because it will try and spring back out on you and it will try and open itself up. So go just a little bit further than you think you're going to have to. Um, you can always put more heat on this and uh, let it go a little bit further. You don't have to hold it too long. So, and that's about perfect, just like that. Um, and actually, while I'm at it, I'm going to tell you, this cod piece here, I had to scale up 60%. Um, the first one I made, which is going to be my fiance's now, is way too small for a six foot two um, inch tall guy. So, you see the difference there in size already. I had to scale that sucker up. Okay, the top here, this curved piece, we're gonna attach it right here in the middle, and we're going to just bend it right on around. So I'm going to find my corner edge here where these two little parts are gonna, I guess, meet. Do these two parts here on the edge, and then just wrap it all the way on down around. And when doing edges like this that I've corner cut, I'll make that edge right up to it. Like right on the point of the edge, because you can always bend it down. By putting the edge right up closer, you minimize the amount of a gap that you'll have when you close the piece up. <laughs> I will do my best not to burn my fingers there, Dad. So see, there we go. Got that edge. I can fold it now, and that gap is not going to open up on me. So, right. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the other edge, and then I'm going to push into the middle here and force the shape into place. And uh, also, welcome to anyone who uh, this is your first time ever watching my channel. My name is Eric Rowan, but better known on YouTube as Angel Legend, and I love making armor and uh, video game props and movie props. So if you enjoy it too, please drop me a comment and smash that like button. I cut a bunch of little smoother pieces here, um, just little angled tips like that so I can smooth out any extra super glue that's on top on the inside of seams there. Just cut yourself a few little scrap pieces of EVA foam. Really handy. Okay, so now there's both my edges there done. I'm going to bend this in a little bit further, and I'm going to merge that whole middle right there. And we are 
well underway for having this suit done for KaiCon, which is going to be in August here in the Nashville area, which I am really excited for. I know I probably said it in all the videos already, but I am going to be doing an armor and prop making panel there at a KaiCon, which I'm really excited for. It'll be my first ever panel, and there will be giveaways. So if you live in the Nashville area, come on out. Look it up online. It's A-K-A-I Con. It's going to be this August. I believe it's uh, like third week in August. Oh, I just realized that I missed a corner cut that I was supposed to have done on this piece here. So I'm going to go ahead and do it now. I guess I can show you the kind of, uh, if you do make a mistake method, how to fix it. So I need to do a corner cut on this entire piece here. That way, when I go to bend this down, it fits a bit better. So, make sure I've got a wicked sharp edge on this here. And actually, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off here so I don't do too much damage to the existing piece. Those X-Acto knife cuts right through super glue really easily. I'm going to say have a bevy of blades with you. Um, everything from box cutters to X-Acto blades. X-Acto blades are great for doing de detail work. Okay, here we go. So, corner cut here. Take your piece, put your blade in right up at the very top edge of it, and almost a 45 degree angle, start to pull. And you'll have to do multiple pulls on this, but you won't have to worry about um, how good the inside edge is going to look because you're going to be merging it right to another piece anyway. So don't worry if it looks a little gnarly on you the first few times you're pulling through it. Just keep on cutting. So probably about three to four pulls. You can see there's that corner edge right there already. And we'll just keep working our way down. <laughs> it's not your bum piece, Kylie. It's your cod piece. <laughs> All right. And again, Doing the corner cut like this is for making your piece as seamless as possible. There we go. All right. Nice little corner edge all through there. So I'm going to trim off a little extra little lip here. Be careful if you're going to use heat gun, guys. Um, I don't want to make it look easy. I'm going to get my hands really close to it. Um, but starting off, you're not going to want to get your hands near that close. I've worked in a shop for a number of years, and my hands have gotten a little bit cultured to the heat. All right, there we go. Round two. Do this real quick here. Okay, so you can see the edge there. It's going to come together real quick. There we go. All right, back to where we were. Because I had to trim it back like that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of glue, put it on the top here, just in little beaded areas, like that, and I'm going to come back through with a little smoother piece and smooth it all into the form. And that'll fill in all the little gaps that I've got inside there from having to uh, cut the piece apart. Right, there 
we go. Okay, now the inside there, you can see it's got a little groove there. I'm gonna put a little bit of super glue on the inside of this groove and I'm just gonna squish them right together. And you can see it'll take that shape once I do that. Actually, you know what, before I do that, I'm going to hit, I'm gonna hit the side piece on there first. The side piece here, you can see I've already done all my corner cuts for that. It's gonna merge right into the edge here and then right up to this edge right there as well. And they're both, all those pieces have already been corner cut. Saves a whole lot of time. And you don't have to do corner cuts. I do, because they make your piece just look better overall. Um, it really does. You can leave it big and blocky if you want, but if you want it to look really sharp and really pristine, go the extra mile and add detail to the back. Here and then I'll pull, pull the whole thing in. Just a few second hold. So Taurus Rex, what's going on? Wait, is he just using super glue? Gosh. So jelly of those armor making skills. <laughs> well, they have come by a bit of trial and error. You can get there too. And again, same thing on the other side. And what I do when I'm doing my super glue is I do the piece that has the, le the uh, least amount of surface area. That way that you don't end up gobbing on too much glue in uh, too big an area. That's not gonna actually make contact for a minute. So I'm doing this right on that edge. Perfect. For anybody watching, if you would, how do I sound? Because I'm just using the webcam on my laptop right now, and I don't know if I'm sounding too well. Just let me know if I need to speak up. Perfect. Put the glue on this edge. You can see I'm kind of bending out with it because I want the top of that seam. I want the top right there to make as much contact as possible. And you can see the glue is bubbling a little bit. So just smooth it out. Just like that. Cover up your seam. Then when I bend it, it doesn't want to pull apart. All right. So I'm just going to keep rolling. And the more pieces I add onto this because of this particular shape, you can see here, it's going to pull itself into proper form. Oh, is it echoing? Ooh. I do sound good. Well, I'm too echoey, but I will I'll try and keep my tone even. All right, so here is our bottom piece here. And again, I have pre-cut all these pieces here. So if you're wondering why I'm moving at such a good clip, it's because I have done that already. And this one, I didn't corner cut here. I only cut this one here, because I don't know if you can see too well on this piece. On the inside there, with this angle being as extreme as it is, you only need to corner cut one side. And you can pretty much stick this piece Fill in that entire edge. Just make full contact there. So if you guys are attempting your... Uh, own armor build, I will say this much, um, maximize the space that you are working with on your EVA foam sheets. Don't just put things right dead center in the middle and start cutting around them because you're going to burn up all that foam on your side. Plot out all your little pieces. So when you get your template, you'll get a bunch of little pieces like this. Line those suckers up so that they fit right next to each other. This, I'd put a piece like that right there into the middle. So when I'm cutting out the entire thing, I'm using up as much foam as possible from that one sheet so I don't have to use um, more than I, uh, more than I uh, normally would for a piece. Typically, I try and get, for most pieces, I try and get a full piece, like a 
full bicep, I can get two biceps out of one sheet of foam, or like a, sheet, um, a piece like this, out of about a third of a sheet of foam, I can get a full cod piece. But anyway, I'm gonna keep going with this. And you see a little curve on this here? I'm gonna force this entire shape. When I get to the end, I'm gonna have to pinch that curve in there. So you guys can see what I'm doing here. And I'm just gonna do on the two edges first. Get that corner in there. And this stuff dries really, really fast. So you gotta move real quick if you're using Loctite. You can use um, just regular hot glue for your builds, but I will say this much, regular hot glue takes a while to dry. You don't want to sit here going, just blowing on it to try and cool it down. So I keep doing that. And a little pinched in area there. Just a little dab will do it. So Bro Cream. I'm sure nobody here knows what Bro Cream is except for maybe Irv Tiki. Take care, Dad. One side. Go ahead and do the same thing on the other side right here. I don't know if any of you guys are as excited as I am that they finally brought Firefight back to Halo 5, but I have been playing the daylights out of that, and I freaking love it. By the way, are there any other cosplayers watching right now? Anyone else who likes to dabble in the uh, finer foaming arts? See right there, corner first, and then merging down on there. Voila. Set that. that glue on top there. A little dab in the corner. And pull that shape into place. You see what I'm doing right there. Alright. And there's our upper part. So you see here it's got a little bit of flex to it. You can see all the little grooves on the inside here where I'm going to fill that with glue and I'm going to pinch the shape into place. And when I do that, you'll see even here, it'll take on a more curved, um, I guess, wrapped in area for it fits on your stomach. Okay. Let's do a little bit of glue on the inside. A little seam of it along your pieces and then just give it a squeeze. Just like that. And again, it goes really, really quickly. You can see the difference in the side there. See how this has so much more of a shape now? Same thing on that side. Just knocking my little bottle of glue all over the place. And also, while I'm at it, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate the support on the channel. I love making these tutorial videos, and I will continue to do so for as long as you guys keep wanting them. on these edges here too. Just a little bit. And just squish them in. Just like that. Let's see. Very true noisy rush. Um it is it is a uh, very complex Especially when you do something like, um, like a forearm there, which I will be doing a live stream this Saturday of uh, the Halo 4 forearm. So if anybody wants to come on back and see that, um, this is a very complicated piece. And just looking at the Papakura file, it is really hard to figure out on your own exactly how to do all the curves and everything. So come on back and I'll show you guys exactly how to make this. Um. <laughs> I know I do make it look easy. It's uh, quite a bit of trial and error. Um, what suit are you working on right now, if you don't mind me asking? All right. So if I put 
there. And ideally what I do now is I take my hot glue gun and I would just reinforce all the inside seams along here. So I'll just do a little bit. Um, I'm not going to do the entire thing because I don't want to take three hours on this video. But I reinforce every single seam from the back side. I don't use the hot glue on the outside seams because I want it to be as clean as possible. But on the inside seams, gob it on. Usually I'll do kind of a swirl pattern to make sure I get plenty on either side of it. Because you do not want these things busting open. Um, and hot glue actually on the outside of your suit, believe it or not, in the sun, they can, your seams can bust wide open in the sun. I don't know uh, why it eats through even, um, even to Plasti Dip, but you can totally bust your seams clear open in the sun. Um, and it's just hot glue. It eats up that much. But anyway, so that's what I would do. I would do the entire thing, reinforce all of that, but I'm not going to do that right now. We're going to move on down to the bottom section here. Move on down to this piece. Okay. This one's going to require more heating, so I'm going to heat from the back side of this. Sometimes I'll heat from the front side. Depends on if I'm doing a torque on the piece or not. But I'm just doing a little bit of a dome shape because I want to get that rounded shape, as you can see right here. I want that to dome out a little bit. Carving up the old dong. Here we go. You guys, please be careful with these heat guns. Okay, now this shape, I'm going to pull down with my fingers down here and push in with my thumbs, pulling back with my top fingers there. And as always, pull a little bit further than you want because it's going to try and force itself out. If you got to reheat it, you got to reheat it. Don't worry if you have to. Reach Spartan. Yeah, EVA foam is definitely cheaper. Um, hats off to you, though. Go in the, um, the fiberglass and resin style. That was actually the very first suit of armor that I made. My um, blue Spartan. I actually have videos up on the page if you want to check that out. Um, first one I ever did was Peppercore build. And I love Peppercore, don't get me wrong. But it is a very, very time-consuming process. And yes, it is, uh, it is cool quite a bit more expensive than doing a your just your standard um, EVA build. Okay. Now this little piece here, I'm gonna also heat this. I'm gonna bend it as well a little bit. And I want a little bit more of a curve than I've got right here in the front. So I'm gonna heat this up, bend it a little bit further. Also with EVA foam it's way easier to get um, surface detail. Because if you buy the little foamy sheets, then you're able to just stack them on top of a piece. And you don't have to fold for four hours just to get that one little recessed groove on the side of the helmet. But also a good idea on a Noisy Rush, also a good idea that you started with the two hardest pieces first. That's exactly what I did when I made my first um, Peppercore build. Because that kind of gives you a gauge as to how the rest of it's gonna go. Okay, so there's our domed little uh, <laughs> dome cover area. I don't know why I'm calling it that. You can see here, um, the actual um, foam file for this one, if you look in the links below the video, I'm gonna get them posted at the end of this, but any of the other videos I have doing armor, if you look down in the link below, you can find all the files to do um, all the suits of Halo armor. But this little piece here, the cutout piece that they have has these little holes in it, but instead of trying to cut those out, of this piece of EVA foam, which is pretty thick, and chattering them all up. I did them out of a foamy sheet, so I can just stack that foamy sheet right on top, glue it right on down. Makes it a whole lot easier doing detail that way. Okay. Go ahead and stick this sucker on here. And I do my outline of the whole piece first when I'm doing a full cover piece. Do the entire outline of it with the glue and then come back through with kind of little um, slashy strokes to fill in the middle area. Be 
be aware if you guys are going to use Loctite, you will get some of it on your fingers. So just know that going in. And I'll try not to worry too much about it. Every now and then the foamy sheets will try and slide on you, so you kind of just got to muscle them into place. And pull it right to the edge. Good. It doesn't matter what color you buy either, because you're going to end up painting this whole thing anyway. But there we go. Easy little surface detail right there for you. Okay, heating this sucker up. <laughs> Only because you asked so nicely. Uh, shout out to Bossatron5000. Thank you for checking out the video. There we go. I'm going to really extremely bend this one in. Because the thinner the piece is, for whatever reason, it sometimes will have a problem holding the shape. The more surface area you have, Usually the curve will sink there a little better. So let's see. I'm gonna hit it a little bit more. And please be careful again, guys, using your heat gun. Try not to get it as close to your fingers as I do. It's one of those do as I say, not as I do moments. This, what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit the edge. These these are going to merge right into each other. So I'm going to do the top edge first, and I'm going to pull the entire thing down and into itself. And that will give me my shape that I want for this whole piece. Looks like I did a little corner cut. So typically you're going to want to do your corner cuts before you um, shape a piece, but I went ahead and I skipped that part. I'm gonna do it now. And again, this is just so I can get my seams to be a little bit closer. I want them to be as seamless as possible. Nice and easy little edge like that. And as I said, we're gonna merge this entire thing on down. I'm gonna go edge to edge first, and then I'm going to force that shape into that little rounded section right in the front there. Because occasionally if you start in the middle, you'll get to one edge and you'll realize, oh shoot, I didn't make it as far as I wanted to go. So do the edges first and then pull it in. Right up to that corner. Some sugar. I need to eat. I'm shaking over here. Because that little corner cut, I'm going to be able to fold that right on down and in, keeping a nice rounded shape there. If you guys have any questions about the building process, materials or otherwise, please let me know and I will do my best to answer those questions for you. So there we go, as I said, you can pull the shape right into there now. Pull it up a little ways. And don't be worried if you get a little bit extra glue on there, you can always smooth it out with your little smoother pieces that you should cut. 
Let me get this merger right on there. This is going better than my first one. Smooth it out. I want the edge. Clean it up a little bit. There we go. There's our little middle section of our cotton piece here. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pinch her in a little bit more. And I'm going to do some glue on the inside seams there. Little bit. Pinch right in. There we go. Get more of a curve. That's the way I want it. Alright, so now we'll do our very bottom part here of our cod piece, which is going to fit right inside there. This one you're going to want also a pretty decent curve to the front and to the sides. Yes, I will. Um, I will be doing the painting process for sure. Um, I know that Adam Grumbo has a pretty good painting tutorial as well, um, but painting EVA foam is a little bit of a different monster. His painting tutorial is for doing Papakura armor. But yes, I will absolutely um, have a uh, a video showing the painting process. I may not stream it because I don't want to get paint all over. Um, this particular camera lens, but if I can stream it, believe me, I will. Chopper guy, good for you, chopping random objects. All right, advertising on my channel. How about that? Boy, you know you made it when. Okay. And I want a little bit more of a curve inside there. So just a little bit more heat. And this stuff folds, excuse me, folds, forms really, really quickly. And it does get really hot, and it is very hot on my fingers right now. So don't just figure, oh, it's, you know, that'll be a breeze. It's very, very hot on my fingers right now. So be aware of that. And the nice thing with EVA foam, again, you can reform it and reform it and reform it as much as you need to to get the shape that you want. Um, some people I've seen, they'll take pieces and they'll form them around bowls or cups or a ball to get like a rounded um, pauldron for your shoulder. All right. There we go. Nice little curve to it. And we'll just set this baby right on in there. Um, no corner cut needed for this piece here. Yeah. I think I'm actually going to curve this a little bit more as well too. Just a tiny bit. Yes, perfect. These fit right on there. And you see the way this whole thing follows like that? See how it's got this whole little edge to it? Um, pretty much follow that whole curve down. So I'm going to tip it in a little bit when I get right to this point. Like pull down a little bit on there. I believe I did pull it down. Yes, I did. 
So I'm gonna corner cut probably these two little edge pieces there, just so that when they make contact with this edge here, they'll be able to slide in a little bit closer. Pretty quick. Put a 45 degree angle on those. So when this fits inside here, oh, perfect. All right, cool. So we'll hit the middle first on this one and then we'll do the edges. So the middle is the most important part on this area. All right, Kylie, we can do a paint stream. <laughs> um, and actually, a uh, noisy rush to answer your question there. I have been making armor now going on five years. Wow, gosh, yeah, I've been working on it for close to five years. Um, the first suit that I did was that blue one, as I said already, and that one took me a year and a half to finish, but I worked on it on and off. Um, during that time, I could have done it though probably in about six months if I had, if I total up all the hours I spent on it, about six months. You see that there? Merge that little corner right in there. I have not gotten to really dabble too much in Warbla. <laughs> Believe me, I will. And when I do, you guys will be the first ones to find out about it. Because I will have a whole new set of tutorials up on how to work with that. Um, but that, it's not, this isn't a bum piece. This is a, a cod piece, Kylie. <laughs> Goes on your front, not on your butt. We, we will get to that, though. Same thing on the other side. Put it right on in there. Perfect edge on that. And then smooth it on in. Perfect. And it's a good idea when you're doing these builds, guys, have the the if you have a a Windows computer have the um, the actual type of profile open up so you can rotate it and look at all the different pieces on here and have a visual reference of Master Chief himself so that you can kind of compare and contrast your uh, what your build looks like. That way you're making sure you're getting as close to the details as possible. So now we're going to attach this to the artifact patch, and this piece is going to start taking on more form. So these actually these little pieces here are going to attach along the edges right there. So this whole thing is going to crimp in even further, which is what we want. Before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and put this little piece here in the front, and I've already corner cut all these edges already, so this will be able to fit right in there real easily. You know, we're going to corner cut this one too. Why not? Let's get it even more extreme. Same process as always. Right up there at the corner. Pull it right on down and in. And this one, shoot for if you can. I don't know if you're good with your angle. Shoot for about a 30 degree angle on this one. You don't want to take off too much on this piece here. So I don't know if you can see this too well. Get a little closer for you. There we go. Okay. And we will do the very middle on this one because it's pretty obvious to see where those two are going to line up. Do that first. Okay. 
Noisy Rush, did you say that you're starting your first suit of armor? Is that is that right? Because yeah, if you if you do decide to switch on over, um, you'll probably have a whole lot more fun with EVA foam because it is definitely easier to work with and the piece comes together a lot quicker. So you save yourself quite a bit of time. Like the, there's another set of videos on my channel which show a Comic-Con marathon build of a Mark VI suit of Spartan armor from Halo 3. And that entire suit was done in 11 days using EVA foam. So, as I said, you can work with it a whole lot faster. So I'm just coming over there. Real easy like. And there we are. There is our rest of our front top there. Um, there is a little detail piece that goes on the upper area here, um, which I saw on the picture. I don't believe the actual type of core file has it. Um, done the way I did it, I took a regular piece of EVA foam, uh, like normal thickness, and I did an angled cut, flipped it over like this, and I did a corner cut along all the edges of it, so I could get that. Um, I guess this. Uh, off finish on this whole thing there. So you can see there. And that's just like over here. Put it right here in the middle. So it helps keep a pen with you. Ballpoint pen works really well. Don't bother using um, Sharpies because the foam is so porous, it sucks the ink clear out of your pens, and eventually your Sharpie will dry up and gum out on you, which really sucks, especially if you're working with silver. You just mark on your piece where you want it. A lot easier this way. Um, <clears throat> word of caution though, you will get this ballpoint pen all over your fingers, so just expect to have uh, blue thumbs at the end of your build. But it comes off pretty easy with some soap and water. Again, I do the edge first. And make it like little lines like that on the entirety. Squeeze it around down. Wow, you put it off for three years. Well, hey, now's as good a time as any. Um, and actually, so it was a was it a Reach suit of armor? Let's see, Reach Spartan, awesome. I'm actually going to be doing hopefully a video of the Reach chest here shortly. If anybody needs help with that, I'm going to try and make myself available. Okay. And I'm going to do a little bit more super glue along the edges here. I'm going to fill in that little gap there. The smoothery. Just added strength on the whole thing. And again, I'm all about that clean look because the. Uh, the red suit of armor that I did, while it was done in 11 days, it was a bit of a rush job, and it didn't have quite the quality that I wanted it to have, for various reasons, so take your time with this. I know I'm moving at a pretty good pace here, and I'm making it really easy, but take your time. And also, if you're trying to get a build done for a con, do not start like I did two weeks out, because you will not sleep at all.
And actually, next suit of armor I'm doing after the um, the Mark VI from Halo 4, I'm going to be doing a full Mark VI from Halo 3. Um, and then I believe I'm doing one of the... Either the Recruit from Halo 4 or the Recon from Halo 4. And then... We'll, uh, we'll just throw a dart and see where that lands. Okay. This little round piece you can see right here in the center, this little round piece there. Right there. Got it right here. Just get a little bit of heat. Just dome it out. Real simple on this one. Get some wood that you can put your heat on. If you have to, hold it with something. You can't see it over here, but off to the side, I've got a block of wood that I'm setting that heat gun on because you do not want to put that down on carpet or on a table that has a nice finish on it because you will destroy your table. Yeah, that'll be nice. We'll slot that little baby in there. You see, I'm kind of pushing it forward a little bit here. So I want it to jut out just a little bit. It's a little added detail there. These are things that I pay attention to. A lot of the Pepper Core files will not show, they won't have a bunch of little extra features, but I like to add them because I want uh, the piece to be as close to the games as possible. Um, you see here, these little accents there, they're not inside the original Pepper Core file, but I just made a little template for myself and I cut them out of a little uh, thin sheet of foamy, which I'm going to be adding to this big piece as well. All right, now for the fun part. Um, when you do the attachment here, you kind of, what's the word, what's the best way to say this? You're going to have to try and hit it about midway up there. And just be aware that you may have to fiddle a little bit to figure out the exact spot you want to put yours. But what I'm going to say to do first is to um, attach the middle part first and then bend the piece down and in. That'll be your best pet on this. I'm going to mark the middle of mine here, probably right about there. So. You see, I marked the little dome where that's going to hit. There we go. Again, least amount of surface area first. Hit the piece that you're attaching to the bigger area. Up first, so I make sure that that seam contacts. Then I'm going to bend it down and in. And you can kind of pinch this in here, try and get this edge to hit that edge right on the very edge of the piece, and then you can fold the whole thing in further. And I'm going to go right for that edge, right off the bat. I'm going to hit that right on. Cool thing also with EVA foam is you can muscle it right into place, which is awesome. And it's probably one of the best things about it is you can manhandle it right where you need it to be. Let's see right there. And the whole sucker right on it. Let's 
see the area. There we go. Just like that. Do the same thing to the other side. Then kind of tuck this little corner in right there a little bit. Pull it up a little bit more. And I just do a little bit of glue right on the edge inside here. And just smooth it in once you get it on. You'll notice the little smoothie piece I have has kind of got a little angle on it. That's so I can get inside those grooves like that. There we are. Noisy Rush, are you using um, Smoothcast to harden your Pepicor, or are you using um, Aqua Resin or something like that? See what all the seams on this right now. There we go. Loose turn now. Nice. Cool. Smooth it all in. There we go. Cut piece is done. But I'm adding a couple extra little details. Um, I did. I just freehanded these, so like I said, I like going for all the hard details. And these fit right on the side there. Come in about a half an inch. Just mark it. Mark your little area. A little bit of glue here. Just flush right to the edge of it. Again, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Um, I plan to do loads more of these. I plan to do some harder pieces. I'm even going to do a couple of um, Guitar Hero inspired pieces. So let's see what those look like when we get to them. And I do plan on doing some weapon tutorials as well, so you'll have to bear with me while we finish up the armor first. Okay, sure. Yeah, the Indie Mogul video, that was what I saw as well. Um, aqua resin is cool, but you have to wear that a respirator when you're using it. At least I believe you do. Um, if you ever try and do another build again, do yourself a favor, uh, Pepper Core build. Do yourself a favor and get um, get yourself some Smoothcast 320 or some 321. It's a uh, equal part mix um, modeling plastic, 
and it works great painting it on your uh, Peppercore form. And you can also pour it inside the form and then slush cast it. It's awesome. All right, well, there she is. And this one here, you can see, is considerably larger than the other one here. Um, I believe this size is, I think, let's see here. I want to say this one here is scaled up 30% from the original file, which I'm going to put all the links down below where all the uh, files are. This one here has been scaled up 60%. So... So you can see my body here, but I'll show you how it will line up. It's on your stomach, up high, right there. Come on down, cover up your family jewels. Um, and again, now I'm going to go back here and I'm going to just reinforce all the inside seams with some hot glue. And uh, there you have it, guys. That is the uh, Halo 4 Mark VI cut piece. Um, again, Thanks for checking this out. Uh, I will be doing another live stream this Saturday. We'll be doing the forearm build that time, and it's going to be a bit of a long one. So if you got time to watch it, if you want to build one right along with me, um, cut your pieces out. You can find the link in the description below once I get it posted up there. And, uh, yeah. Well, anyway, you guys have a uh, great rest of your night. Thanks for hanging with me. And we will see you all next time.